yesterday. 858 Bear Country 95.3. Corrine Fitzgerald is here. Hey, Corrine, how are you? Good morning, Kevin. So uh, yesterday, I don't know if you noticed this or not, it was Groundhog's Day. Mm -hmm. And Punxsutawney Phil said that spring is coming early this year for me. So early is in a month. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You think? Oh yes. Okay. Well, believe I believe the groundhog, Corrine. Okay, I do believe the groundhog. And by the way, sellers, are potential sellers, excuse me, potential sellers are acting. Uh huh. I think they think so too. Are they getting a little antsy and I getting ready? Based on what I'm seeing out there, there's a lot of people that I've been talking to lately are yep. getting ready for spring. Excellent. Okay, so what we call spring and the calendar calls spring in the real estate world is slightly different. Uh huh. So tell me the difference. Okay, so the calendar says it's the 19th of March. Right. Okay, but home sellers and home buyers see spring as being when things start turning green. Well, how can they not think that way, the way the weather's been lately? Mm -hmm. It's been very mild. Right, so we have global warming and other things going on there, but to, to make all that happen. But so spring, in reality, in real estate, is when things start getting green and things start to grow, okay? So people are starting to feel like that's spring. So we've been talking about how to be ready for spring, right. how to be ready for the market. Sure. In particular, sellers that are looking to sell, mm -hmm. okay? And I told you that I would carry on with that um, series and talk about how they can position themselves in a competitive market. Yes. Okay, so if you're a home s a seller and want to be a home buyer, right, right. okay, and you're looking to get into uh, out of your big house and get into your to a, a one-level house. Yes, you mentioned and, the one-level houses, and yes. And there's a lot of competition for that house. Uh-huh. Okay, so I have found that the best way to handle that is if you are in a position to do an equity line. Or have mm. cash. Okay. Because in the pecking order of how a, a seller is going to accept offers, yes. usually, okay, they're going to pick a cash offer over a financed, a uh, buyer that's looking to finance. Right. Okay? If you have the cash in hand, they're going to go to that person first before they go to the person who is getting a loan from a bank. And that's because there's less contingencies, right? Uh -huh. So basically with the cash offer, all there is is a home inspection that they need to do, and then right. they're moving to closing. Okay. With the buyer that has to be financed, they also have to get bank approval. And that means an appraisal, and that means the buyer has to go through the process of getting approved. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why a seller is more apt to take a cash buyer. So in order to do that and position yourself in a, in a good position, a lot of home sellers that have been successful in the past have either had cash in hand mm -hmm. or have gone to the bank and pulled the equity out of their house in, in the form of an equity line, mm -hmm. okay? So they have money available to use as if it was cash, Right. okay? So the beauty of that is the equity line, you're only paying interest on that loan, okay, for a short period, of, you know, for as long as it takes you to sell your house. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go over the chicken and the egg next week yes. and talk about whether you wanna be a chicken or the egg. In the real estate. Well, we'll see what the weather looks like uh, next week, too. I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to go back to winter very, very soon. Well, we can't be too ready for <laughs> spring. I think we still, still have some winter on the calendar left. All right. Green Fitzgerald is from Fitzgerald Real Estate, Federal Street here in Greenfield. And most importantly, online at Fitzgerald-realestate.com. We'll see you then, okay? Okay. All right. Snow Country Ski Update now on Bear